Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and today we're going to be starting up a game of Hearts of Iron 4, the new World War II grand strategy game from Paradox Interactive and Paradox Development Studios. So, we're going to go ahead and get things started here, so we're going to do a single player, a new game, we're going to use the January 1st, 1936 start, the Gathering Storm, um, and we are going to pick as our country to play as, as Japan. Because uh, I want to play as a naval power and I'm most familiar with uh, the Japanese and the Pacific Theater. Um, more so than say, for example, Italy or the United Kingdom. Alright, we're going to be playing on regular difficulty and I'm not going to be playing on Iron Man mode primarily for technical reasons in case we run into a, a problem. We won't lose chunks of playtime. And we are going without the historical AI focuses. So I'm going to let the AI just kind of choose their national focuses as they will. And we're just going to see how things go. All right, let's go ahead and get things started. All right, and we are in. We got to do a lot of setup here initially. Um, so first thing we're going to do is look through our research options here. We can do four technologies at once. Um, and we're going to pick probably support weapons. Because these are way behind. Uh, 1918 technology. Um, I also want to get basic machine tools for production efficiency. And I want to go into my Navy. And I am going to research the Yamato class. Because we are going to build Yamato class battleships. Um, and I want to go in here. And do we want to do anything else here? Uh, let's see. Do we want to work on the Type 95 heavy tank? I don't know. Not sure how much we're going to be dealing with heavy tanks, at least not initially. Um, let's go into one of our doctrines here. So, at the minute we have a Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. Um, maximum Entrenchment. We get a better planning bonus. Defense and organization. See, this is not going to be a very. Um, this is a planning and preparation before engaging battle. So, um, this is focused around uh, preparing and using battle plans and things like that. So, I guess we'll stick with this and let's go with this um, grand battle plan research. So. Now, what's next here? We have free civilian factories. Now, these are the factories that we use to build everything in terms of other factories. Um, so, military and civilian factories, shipyards, uh, refineries, any air infrastructure. Basically, we build structures. Um, and what we're going to want to do is we are going to need more civilian factories. A lot more civilian factories. So, I'm going to queue up a whole bunch of civilian factories here. Let's go in there as well. And I think we might need some synthetic refineries because oil and rubber and things like that, because these produce uh, oil and rubber and we're gonna really gonna need some of that so I'm gonna build a couple of those all right so anything else that I wanted to do with that um, let's see that was construction no that should be fine all right so we have free military factories we can assign these to producing on various pieces of equipment. So we have infantry equipment, support equipment, motorized like trucks for motorized infantry, 
Um, and some fighters and some naval bombers there. And it looks like we got a bunch of ships currently under construction here as well. So let's take a look here at our logistics stockpiles and see what we're behind on. We are way behind on infantry equipment. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to assign everything we've got, inventory equipment, we're going to bring that up to speed. Let's see, we got um, three more factories we can distribute, we're going to do support equipment. Alright, we got free dockyards. Now what I'm actually going to do with my dockyards is... I'm going to back all these to one. So we have a Congo class uh, under construction here. And actually, I was looking at this before I started recording, and this is actually the battleship Hiei. Um, which, if you know anything about uh, the Japanese Navy, she was already built by this point. So what she's actually doing is going through her second reconstruction um, at this point um, to bring her up to modern battleship standards. So... What we're going to do is throw all of our dockyards into getting her up to speed. And then we're just going to do this. So, once he finishes, then I'll drop down to this uh, Soryu class. And then, you know, all these will cascade down and then get all these done. All right, so that should work. We need a national focus. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with spiritual mobilization because it's gonna increase our recruitable population by two and a half percent. So it'll increase our total manpower. So we're gonna do that. We have no divisions in training. We have insufficient resources. All right, so what we're going to want to do is, for division training, I'm thinking I'm just going to go with a lot of basic infantry for now. Um, let's see, what are these? These are just a big stack of regular infantry. Um, Hoheishiden. See, this is some infantry with some light tanks attached to it. This is cavalry. Oh, if you notice, I have the NATO symbols on. Um, this is motorized infantry. The big, big stock of motorized. So probably this and this are going to be the backbone of my army. Um, these are marines. These are elites. These are flagged as elite. So they get prioritization on all equipment. And make sure that they are always stacked to the most modern available equipment. Um, which makes sense considering, you know, we might be doing a lot of um, amphibious actions. And these are reserves. So they're kind of smaller infantry divisions um, in the reserves. So they get low priority on all equipment. So they're going to fill out with obsolete gear first. And then um, fill in with modern equipment. Um but they're low on the priority list. So any of these we're going to be using for just kind of filler, garrisoning, things like that. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to train some of these mainline infantry divisions. Um, I think I'm going to do 10 of those. Go with two runs of 10 for 20. And we're going to set a location where they're going to drop. Um, I'm going to drop them probably near a base, but it doesn't really matter that much. We're going to drop them there. 
Okay, so we have insufficient resources. So we are what? We're short 24 oil, 2 aluminum, 3 rubber, and 11 steel for what we're trying to make. So we are going to have to trade for this. So we need oil first and foremost, and we're going to buy it. Right, let's just unpause it here. We're going to buy some of it from the United States. Uh, probably buy some of it from Venezuela. There we go. We need some aluminum. Which we'll probably go ahead and buy some aluminum from the United States with some of our civilian factories. Um, we need rubber. Which I'm going to go ahead and get that from the, uh, from the Netherlands, actually. Because the Netherlands holds... Indonesia down here, which is one of the major natural rubber producing areas on the on the world, so and we need what else? We need some steel. Which looks like the United States is gonna be our buddy for steel as well. A lot of heavy trading with the US at this point. And one thing I actually want to do is try as best I can to not end up at war with the US. And we'll see if we can accomplish that. Alright, so... What we want to do now is get the military organized. Um, so first off... I want to bring together all the fleets. So we're going to grab... The fleet here, and them over there. Where else do we have fleets? Uh, we have fleets in Yokosuka. We're gonna bring them all to uh, Korea Naval Base. They're outside of Hiroshima. Um, them in. Let's see, we got some ships parked here in Korea. We're gonna bring those over. Just helps me get a sense of what I've got. We should have a big pile of ships down here in truck. Yes, we have some ships down there in truck. Look like you have any ships anywhere else. Uh, those are all infantry, 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 infantry. Okay. Alright, so what we also want to do is we want to start gathering all the infantry somewhere. Which I think Tokyo sounds like a good idea. So let's go start gathering all of our infantry. Um in main land Japan here in Tokyo again to help us just kind of get sorted what we what we need Oh, we need to bring them into a naval base, so we only need to bring them into Yokosuka. And this guy... Looks like he can walk all that way. Interesting. Alright, so... All those guys look good. We actually gonna need to move these guys to a naval base before we can move them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these guys out here in the Pacific. And I'm gonna bring them into Yokosuka. There we go. 
together. Everybody together. Probably going to want to do the same thing here in Manchuria and Korea. Uh, let's see. Let's get all these guys. And let's gather them all down here. Alright, so who is all this? Did we get everybody? I think we did. Alright, so all of our ships should be here in Corey. So I'm gonna merge all them together and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click to break off the submarines because we want to treat them a little bit different. I'm gonna move them over to Osaka. Just gonna get them out of the way for now. So let's just speed things up a little bit. Let's see, it's interesting that now there are no real, like, discrete transports. It's just units can transport on their own. Oh, what's this? Missing equipment reduction. Light tanks. And we're not making any light tanks. Uh, okay. And we are short one light tank. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and then let's queue up production for a tank. And I need to give it a factory. How are we doing for support equipment? We're still short. Um, but we're actually doing okay on motorized, so... Let's take... No, we can't actually do that. Uh, we're going to have to back off one factory on infantry equipment to give it to the tank. We're making two per month. So we only need one? That should be fine. All right. all right. You guys all move over here. Do we have everybody yet? No, we got one more guy still coming over. And actually, he can come here. And how is production coming along on... Mm, okay, we've got a few of them actually starting to build. Uh, let's see, bases in low supply. Yeah, they're going to be in low supply. Let's see. We're short on fuel. But we're hopefully not going to be in this situation for too long. Once everybody gets all gathered up. Alright, so, speaking of... I'm 
Uh, what I want to do is let's take... All these reserve units out of there. Move everybody else over to Usuka. All right, and then these guys. Oh no, these guys. They're regular combat units. I am going to move them over here. So we've got two more divisions to move into position. Uh, oh, we're almost uh, done our national focus there. All right. Once he's in, we're going to split things up. Pause up here a second. Let's take these reserve divisions out. March everybody else up to Pyongyang. And you guys march up to Pyongyang. There we go. Spiritual mobilization. That increased our manpower pool quite a bit. Alright, so what are we going to do next? I think we're going to do these. Because they give me free factories. So this is going to give me four um, military factories. This is going to give me four dockyards. This is going to be another four dockyards. So, let's go with this. Okay, so, these guys, actually, we're going to wait before we start assigning armies and everything else like that. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do... Actually, let's take these guys plus these guys, and we're going to create them as an army. And I'm going to assign a field marshal to them. And actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to promote... Because these the field marshals we all have right now are old guard. So they get 25 percent less experience on combat with oh this guy's actually not old guard neither are these all right so we'll go with you and what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this army a front line here along the Chinese border so everybody can start heading over there Now, these guys, we're going to give them as an army as well. And for this commander, we're just going to choose that guy because it doesn't really matter. And we're going to give them a front line of the Soviet border. Garrison the whole border. should be over here. 
I mean, this is a submarine, is it not? That's a submarine. So you come over there. I think... Oh, these guys are all set to auto. Okay, so subs, we actually want to drop in... So now, why isn't Osaka a port I can drop things in? Alright, fine. Then we'll do... Uh, you know, Gosuka there for the submarines. Uh, for the rest of these guys, we're going to drop them in Kure. guys Let's assign them to an army we're gonna also do a field marshal but what I'm gonna do with these guys is I'm gonna tell them to garrison and we're gonna choose all of our islands There, here, here. Oh, that's already been selected. This. Iwo Jima's selected, okay, and I guess it's Marcus, I think. It's Marcus. Alright, so that ought to do it. And there we go. Distributing those guys back out. The garrison are island bases. Just in case. Alright, so... You. A lot of your guys are not very well trained yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them to exercise. them trained up. These guys also appear to need some training. Which we'll do once they're in position. Alright, so... Probably gonna wait until Hiei's done her reconstruction um, before we start dividing up the fleets. Now we're gonna have you know, three fleet carriers. We have one under construction. We're probably gonna want some more of those. So I'm going to queue up one, two more fleet carriers and we do the same thing. We're just going to assign maximum number of dockyards once they, um, you know, once everything else gets done built. Okay, so things are moving along pretty well. Get everything all set up here. Then we're going to have to decide exactly what we're going to do and how we're going to go about doing it. Because we have a few options here. So we look at our national focuses. Um, we're probably going to need to get industrial effort sooner rather than later. Um, we're also going to need to decide what we're going to be doing about China. Um, because 
We have to decide if we're going to go to war with China and occupy them. Or if we're going to try to puppet them. Um, and then... Um, what we're going to be doing here now. And we'll also have the choice of if we're going to join the Axis. Or if we're going to found our own faction. And I'm pretty sure we are going to go our own faction. We're not going to join the Axis here. I want to create my own sphere of influence. Um, so that I hopefully won't get involved at war with um, Great Britain, United States. At least not until I'm ready to do it. Um, so that's kind of the plan there. We can demand, demand friends into China. Yeah, but kind of the big decision coming up sooner is going to be what we're going to do with China. Puppeting them or conquering them. Oh, we have a resource issue. We need some additional steel. Only one. Uh, I'm probably not going to worry about it for one. Because who is short on steel? The tanks. We aren't even assigning any steel over here. Once these do get done being built, because this is taking up 44 steel um, to build this uh, this battleship. So, once that's done, that's no longer going to be a problem. Alright. So, actually, we're at a good point to go ahead and end the first episode here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pause it. Alright, so I'll have to decide what we're going to do with China. I'm going to look that over a little bit. Um, make that decision. Um, before the next episode and then we'll see how things go all right well hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching go ahead like subscribe and comment and i will see you next time